Hello everyone. Uh, we are waiting for the chairperson to join. As we join, we are going to start with the session. Oh, oh.
Hello everyone. This is session uh, oral presentation session uh, two, room number two. So I request you to kindly check that you are in the correct room number. We have oral presentation from 13 to 25 here. So please check that you are in the right room and not logged in into other room. We have from, I repeat, we have oral presentations, online presentations from 13 till 25. And we are just waiting for the chairman, chairperson of the session to join. The moment he joins, we are going to start with it. Thank you so much for bearing with us. तो वो क्यों नहीं दे रहे आप आज चलते हैं नहीं बिल उससे तो ले लें फिर उसका कल बनाओगे हम सब तो और क्या करना है यार अब तो शर्म आएगी बाजार में Please mute yourself so that we can start with the session and put your video off. Dr. Rajesh Trehan, am I audible? Thank you so much, sir. But please put on your put off the camera, switch off the camera. Thank you so much. You can switch it off when it is your turn to present. I also request Dr. Akbar to uh, switch off your mic. Please put on yourself on the mute mode until it is not your turn to speak.
Good afternoon, sir. Uh, our chairperson, respected chairperson, is here. Thus, sir, am I audible to you? Uh, sir, you are not audible. Yeah. Am I audible now? Yes, yes. Now you are audible. Okay. Sir, with your permission, can we start with the session? Yeah, yeah. Please, please start. Oh, sure, sure. Good afternoon, everyone. I welcome you all at the online oral poster presentation session in the International Conference on Integrated Chemical Science for Health and Environment. I am Dr. Jaya Mahotra, faculty at Desh Bengal College. And I have the privilege to invite the chairperson of today's session, Dr. M. Samim, Associate Professor at the Department of Chemistry, School of Chemical and Life Sciences, Jamia Hamdar. His education is from Delhi University, both MSc in Chemistry and PhD also. He has specialization in nanochemistry. His teaching subjects have been quantum mechanics, statistical mechanics, and electrochemistry. Sir's research interest involves nano drug delivery and has over six patents to his credit. Sir also has over 100 international and national publications, and he has been guiding, guiding over 30 PhD students. Thank you so much, sir, for your presence today. With this, I invite sir to carry on with the poster presentations of the participants from the serial number 13 till 25. Sir, please. Thank you. Thank you, Jaya. And uh, I don't have any, you know, the list of the participants. So, I don't know who is the one, so I will directly, without wasting time, I will invite the first participant to present his research work. I have uh, it. Uh, I'm so sorry to uh, interrupt you in between. We have Dr. Ashish Kumar as OB13, first person. Okay. Please Dr. Please. Ashish, please present your work. Dr. Ashish, are you there? We can move on with Dr. Geeta, OB14. No, no, Dr. Ashish has joined. Dr. Ashish, please, please present your work. Dr. Ashish, your mic is muted. Very good evening, sir. Myself, yeah. Dr. Good Ashish. Good. I am from the Patna, Patna Women's College. Uh, Piram is also a faculty member. She will present the papers. So okay, I request okay. Piram to please join. Uh, sorry to interrupt, uh, sir, Dr. Samim. Sir, I have sent you the evaluation sheet and the list also. Okay. Uh, am I audible? Myself, uh, Good uh, Good evening, sir. Good evening, ma'am. Uh, good evening, everyone. Am I audible, sir? Yes, yes. you are audible. Okay. Aram, please I'm... proceed. Okay. Sir, uh, my screen is visible? Yes. Okay. Um, so, thank you, uh, organizing committee and everyone uh, for uh, letting us, uh, um, for letting us, uh, representing our work. Uh, so, our work is basically uh, physiochemical and microbial analysis of drinking water of Patna region. And... Uh, uh, um, um, so the introduction of this uh, work is uh, water is an essential sustaining uh, water is an essential uh, means for sustaining life on earth and among 17 SDGs proposed by United Nations one of the goal is clean water and sanitation uh, Hence, regular uh, quality assessment of water is necessary to ensure public health, 
especially in this rapid developing world where pollution is pivotal consequence of human activity and this study is a pre monsoon analysis where water contamination is generally found in normal range that persists throughout year and the quality of water is determined by its uh, physical chemical and biological com uh, composition and an alteration of in these characteristic may lead to the disharmony with the utility and prescribed limit of who and bi standards eventually making this water unfit for population consumption and uh, since we uh, and hence we have tested uh, for these uh, uh, parameters so our objective of uh, this work is uh, to identify water samples from various areas of patna region uh, whether it is fit to be fit for consumption or not on the physiochemical and microbial basis then recognition of particulars which are harmful uh, for uh, harmful in, uh, in the water sample that uh, that is uh, um, that needs to be rectification and the other thing is uh, that uh, to check whether um, the sample uh, of patna uh, region is um, whether the sample of patna region complies with the bi standard or not then uh, these are the regions uh, where uh, these are basically area of study from where we have uh, taken our sample. First one is Bailey Road, and uh, of these are all of Patna region. That means Pat of Patna district. So first one is Bailey Road, and uh, another one is from Danapur, then Digha, then Gandhinagar, then uh, Kankarbal, and then Patna city. All these are. Uh, uh, samples uh, um, all these are samples. Um, sample regions from where we have taken our uh, samples uh, uh, since a sample uh, of uh, digha and patna city are both uh, located near ganga and uh, of danapur and kankar bag and Bailey road and gani are uh, are of little far from uh, the bank of ganga then uh, these are the samples that we have tested and um, say, uh, and um, since we know that uh, water quality depends on the presence of percentage composition of physical, chemical, and biological components, hence the assessment uh, uh, is uh, done on, on these bases, such as physical, chemical, and microbial parameters. The physical quality of water is determined by various physical properties, uh, uh, which can cause depletion of water quality uh, when it is out of standard range. And the parameter that we have tested is uh, temperature, conductivity, total dissolved solid, and turbidity. Then the other, uh, then the other parameter is chemical parameter, where uh, water, uh, uh, where, uh, uh, where uh, the characteristic of water, chemical characteristic of water is uh, expressed as composition of chemical substances and also the capability of appearance of the chemical reactions occurring in different conditions, such as hydrolysis and non hydrolytic reactions um, uh, in various types of uh, water that can be used in human life or in natural processes. Uh, so uh, water quality uh, uh, water quality on these bases uh, uh, are tested and uh, we have uh, chosen pH uh, do uh, that is dissolved oxygen hardness calcium magnesium and iron and fluoride uh, iron fluoride and arsenic for chemical parameters to be tested then microbial parameters so microbial parameter uh, microbial factor plays also a pivotal role in the quality of water these parameters uh, may include uh, algae, bacteria, viruses, and parasitological aspect. And these are several sources of these contaminations, such as human and animal feces or sewage uh, contamination. Since intestinal bacteria, which are normal flora of the intestine, are not pathogenic. While some bacteria can cause serious diseases uh, if they are present in drinking water, such as Salmonella, uh, Shigella, uh, Vibrio cholera, uh, Yersinia, uh, Enterocolectica, uh, entro uh, and some, uh, some uh, protozoans, Helminthes, also cause uh, um, uh, um, uh, depletion of water quality. Uh, um, other para, um, pathogenic parasites, such as uh, Antamoeba and um, um, Balantidium, uh, also uh, causes depletion of water uh, um, quality. Then algae also uh, uh, imparts a negative impact on water quality. Uh, apart from that, uh, uh, microcystis, 
anabina and nostoc these are also harmful uh, um, uh, uh, harmful microbes harmful uh, um, basically uh, these uh, um, produces hepat uh, hepatotoxin and uh, anabina and nostoc produces neurotoxins which are also harmful or, for human health therefore water must be free from these disease causing microbes and hence water uh, quality must be regular check uh, uh, regularly checked for these intestinal pathogens these intestinal uh, basically uh, harmful pathogens uh, so um, uh, some uh, indicator organisms uh, primarily uh, tested for these uh, um, things such as fecal coliform fecal coliforms uh, which uh, which is basically e coli contamination and fecal streptococci uh, or uh, and uh, clostridium uh, perfringens so uh, our study is only restricted to the presence of e coli so methodology, uh, uh, some parameters such as temperature, conductivity, TDS, and dissolved oxygen are tested using this portable microprocessor water analyzer kit. And uh, these are the processes that we have followed. The, uh, basically, temperature uh, is the parameter basically important for the chemical reaction uh, in the uh, in water uh, in basically uh, organisms uh, for uh, organism present in water and uh, that organism that uses water for their daily needs. And the uh, rise in temperature may lead to the spreading of chemical reaction. Uh, um, Speeding of the chemical reaction, uh, uh, such as reducing the solubility of glasses and amplifies the taste and odor. And uh, at high temperature, uh, um, with less dissolved gases, uh, the water becomes tasteless, even doesn't quench th uh, thirst. So the next parameter is conductivity. Conductivity is the measure of capacity of the of a solution to conduct electricity. As most of the salt in the water are present in the ionic form and capable of conducting current, in water property is caused by uh, um, presence of variant, uh, various ionic species. And it is also tested by microprocessor water analyzer kit. And uh, its SI unit is microsimus per centimeter. It is, uh, it is the measure of concentration of mineral constituent present in water. It checks the reliability of mineral analysis or quality of distilled water, it acts as an important characteristic for determining the stability of water. Then another factor is total dissolved solid. So total dissolved solid refers the main various uh, main, refers mainly the various kinds of mineral present in water. In natural water, dissolved solids are composed of mainly carbonate, chlorides of, of sodium and calcium and magnesium. Concentration of dissolved solid is an important parameter in drinking water and other quality standard. They give a particular taste to the water at the high, uh, higher concentration on, and also reduces the palatability and may cause gastrointestinal irritation. And it is also measured by microprocessor water analyzer kit. Uh, it is a portable device uh, that can be uh, used for uh, testing different parameters for water. And uh, increased uh, TDS in water causes bad odor, which favors the condition for the growth of various pathogens, which result in the increase of various diseases. Uh, our next factor, uh, next parameter is dissolved oxygen. The decisive role of oxygen is the uh, is the process of life uh, is connected with the solubility molecular oxygen in water and with forming complex compound with water and with hemoglobin. Analysis of dissolved oxygen of water is a uh, uh, water sample is also done by microprocessor uh, water analyzer kit. And then uh, next factor is turbidity. It is test tested by Nefflo turbidity meter. The turbidity of water is caused by the presence of insoluble and colloidal particles of the inorganic and organic origin of phytoplankton and other microscopic organisms. Turbidity of water is actually the expression for the optical activity in which the light is scattered by the particle present in the water. Turbidity makes the water unfit for drinking as well as for domestic use. It is also, it is, uh, uh, previously, I said it is measured by a nephloturbidity meter. And then uh, next parameter is uh, pH or potential of hydrogen. Basically, pH is the measure of intensity of acidity or alkalinity. Uh, um, alkalinity and the measure, measure is the concentration of hydrogen ions in water. So pH uh, is considered as neutral below 7, acidic and above of, uh, Below seven, it is acidic, and above seven, it is alkaline. Most natural water are generally alkaline due to the presence of sufficient quantity of carbonates, and it is measured by either using pH meter or uh, using pH paper. We have tested it using a pH, a digital pH meter. So these are the uh, test pictures uh, that we have uh, taken while uh, testing samples. 
another factor is parameter measured by titration and uh, um, we have tested hardness calcium and magnesium on the basis of edta method edta titration method basically hardness of water is caused due to the presence of sulfates and chlorides of calcium and magnesium it is the property which prevents the other uh, formation with soap and increase its boiling point hence hardness can be calculated as a uh, calcium carbonate uh, milligram per liter using this formula and it is measured by titration edta titration method uh, in which calcium and magnesium forms complex of wine red color with ebt ebt is an indicator uh, and on titration it turns blue another thing is Uh, calcium uh, so calcium is the major uh, constituent of natural water is it has been found that calcium antagonizes the toxicity of various substances such as lead zinc aluminum and toxic so uh, solution of sodium magnesium and potassium chloride it is also tested using edta method and muriaxide is the indicator that is used uh, for testing um, uh, calcium in the sample using this formula we have calculated our result and uh, for magnesium it is generally present in a smaller concentration the value of magnesium 2 plus n can be obtained by subtracting the value of calcium from the total value of hardness it is also uh, determined using edta uh, titration method then uh, next uh, uh, parameter is uh, um, uh, arsenic iron and fluoride which is uh, tested using testing kit different testing kits are used for testing this uh, these parameters arsenic it is a metalloid and uh, not a heavy metal it is uh, naturally present in earth crust it may be found in water which has uh, flowed through arsenic uh, rich rocks arsenic is detected with the help of arsenic too uh, uh, testing kit in which uh, method is uh, followed is a mercuric bromide method um, uh, and uh, com uh, and then it is compared with a standard color chart um, yeah, so uh, there are several harmful effects of arsenic so long term exposure of arsenic in drinking water can cause cancer of uh, skin lung bladder and kidney it can also cause uh, changes in uh, and thickening or um, it can also changes thickening and pigmentation of skin that is known as hypercarotosis and arsenic is known to cause arsen uh, arseniosis which uh, pre uh, when present in water and the most common species uh, being arsenate and arsenite that is present in water uh, mostly prevalent in water samples then another factor is fluoride fluoride may occur naturally in water uh, uh, from rock and minerals and may be added to industrial discharge into water sources so uh, fluoride is detected also with using uh, fluoride testing kit uh, which uh, which you which is containing a zircoline uh, uh, zirconyl alizarin uh, um, as a reagent and uh, the harmful effect of fluoride is uh, when it is present in higher concentration uh, that is uh, above 1.5 mg per ml it causes dental and skeletal, uh, skeletal fluorosis then another factor is iron iron is present basically um, ground water and acid uh, surface uh, drainage contains a considerable amount of water uh, sorry a considerable amount of iron a high amount of iron in water gives it reddish and turbid appearance iron is basically detected with the help of also iron testing kit uh, that contain, uh, contains hydroxyl amine hydrochloride um, and um, Uh, ammonium acetate buffer uh, as a reagent and the harmful effect of iron is uh, um, uh, it causes reddish brown staining of in the uh, laundry porcelain dishes utensils and even glassware iron in higher concentration may also cause vomiting iron causes digestive disorders skin diseases and dental problems then we have done our microbial testing we have uh, viable count petri uh, plates of nutrient agar medium uh, uh, um, uh, with uh, Uh, dilution of 10 to power minus 1 and 10 to power minus 3 upon which we have found uh, colony forming units uh, uh, so uh, and then we have uh, done um, their gram staining using gram uh, gram iodine 95% percent ethyl alcohol and safranine then we have uh, primarily tested for e coli and uh, using emb agar and mekongki agar further biochemical biochemical test uh, has also been done using um, indole methyl red and uh, works uh, a proscor citrate and oxidase uh, methods uh, to confirm the presence of e coli whether the sample contains e coli or not so uh, these are the observations uh, and uh, for temperature we have noted down the temperature uh, of all samples almost uh, 25 
uh, and there is no uh, temperature range that is given for uh, given, and that is uh, um, that is directed by BIS. Other uh, other uh, parameters such as conductance, stability, and TDS uh, are all found to be in compliance with the BIS standard of uh, their particular ranges. And um, uh, uh, here. Over 30 from 0, 0, and 0. Uh, uh, all these are 0 0.40, 0 0.60, and 0 0.34, and 0 0.43. All these are less than 1, but it is complies with the WHO standards since WHO has a, a standard of 0 to 5 NTU for turbidity range. And another factor, uh, another um, this observation of hardness, calcium, magnesium, PHDO, iron and fluoride, and arsenic. Uh, uh, or, um, all complies with the WHO standards apart from uh, dissolved oxygen, which uh, which is mostly high in all samples, uh, but there is no uh, guideline regarding uh, this uh, DO, uh, presence of D high amount of DO. Uh, um, uh, basically, there is Dr. no help Hidden, place. Please conclude because total eight minutes are allotted, six minutes for presentation and two minutes for discussion. Okay, 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 sir. So, uh, sorry. Uh, so uh, arsenic is found to be uh, uh, high in, uh, considerably high in Danapur and Digha sample. It is uh, still in the range of BIS, but uh, it is out of range from WHO. So uh, in all samples of uh, uh, these areas, uh, E. coli uh, was not found in uh, 100 ml sample. And uh, so um, um, temperature of uh, water sample was 25 degrees Celsius. Conductivity was also uh, in the range of BI standard. TZS was also in the range of 2000 uh, um, milligram per liter. And uh, um, um, uh, pH was also complies with the uh, BIS standard. Then calcium and magnesium and uh, hardness was also in uh, compliance with the BI standard. Uh, other parameters, iron, fluoride, arsenic was also uh, according to the BIS uh, standards, uh, while, uh, while arsenic was more th uh, than uh, BIS uh, limit. Uh, BIS limit is basically 0 .1, 0 0.01 uh, microgram per liter as per WHO. While for uh, while uh, for BIS it is 0 0.05 uh, microgram per uh, per liter. And the uh, and the colonies that were uh, found was not uh, basically equal uh, uh, depending on uh, these uh, characteristics. That is uh, gram negative rod, circular, white growth raised on nutrient agar, and dark pink colonies on Nakangwe agar was found. Hence, uh, these are not E. coli. Uh, other than E. coli, uh, uh, there are other organisms, but uh, uh, not E. coli. And we have uh, restricted our study till uh, E. coli um, in this um, presentation, for this presentation. Uh, so um, all the samples of Patanjit were found almost uh, in the permissible limit of uh, BIS, but it contains ar arsenic, which is uh, toxic in least amount also. These are the references where from there we have uh, um, we have um, taken our inspiration, and uh, thank you, thank you very much for letting us. For thank you, Doctor Iran. Thank you, Doctor Iran. So now if anybody has one or two questions, so they can ask. So if nobody has any questions, so uh, I have only one question. Dr. Iram kindly suggest uh, your probable solution for reduction of arsenic toxicity in water. What do you suggest? How we can reduce the arsenic toxicity in water? Uh, sir, uh, uh, there are several researches that are going on. And uh, for arsenic uh, uh, contamination, uh, basically we use... Uh, we use basically RO for purification and uh, for public uh, uh, for, for public usage of water, drinkable water, uh, government may um, support for these RO uh, RO for uh, for affordable uh, for at affordable price for common public. 
uh, while the scientists are uh, discovering all the uh, discovering uh, their remedies for uh, arsenic contamination and regular okay. um, testing also okay thank you dr iram so who is next participant sir i am dr geeta nk i am the next part participant sir okay okay ma'am please uh, go to your presentation yes sir and please i'll be to share uh, please sir and please keep in mind that only 6 minutes are yes, for sir. presentation sure. and 2 minutes for discussion thank you yes sure. please go ahead can you please allow me to share my screen i think ma'am you can share it everybody is allowed to share it yes yeah uh good evening uh, to one and all present here so i am dr geeta nk associate professor department of mathematics sanand sagar college of engineering bangalore and my co-author name is dr kirtika m assistant professor department of mathematics sanand sagar college of engineering bangalore the my uh, uh, paper topic is decision making using game theory approach for a group of patients undergoing a liver transplantation so coming to the uh, concept uh, researchers in various disciplines including health have used game theory in applied mathematics to find the practical remedies for present problems there are various situations in real life where we get across issues with the simultaneous optimization of multiple goals one of the complexities of uh, uh, solving such problems is that one or more objectives often conflict under given conditions uh, actually in this study the benefits for patients uh, required multi organ transplants so particularly uh, liver transplantation involve allocating a yes, scarce resources among competing competing patients with the different medical needs game theory models can help optimize allocation strategies by uh, considering patient urgency compatibility and expected outcomes this approach has also produced a better response for doctors and patients based on the prisoner's dilemma and nash equilibrium method these two methods are very important uh, we have taken into this paper so finally the proposed model has been tested for accuracy efficient efficient resource utilization and the computationally cost effective solution so few uh, um, few topics we have uh, mainly taken up for uh, to uh, survey this uh, study one is game theory another one is public health liver transplantation prisoner dilemma and nash equilibrium so uh, to uh, success in this survey we have taken help of players games strategies outcomes prisoner dilemma and nash equilibrium so these uh, topics are mainly uh, uh, using to get the optimal solutions so coming to the prisoner dilemma it is often used to uh, analyze a wide range of range of scenarios including business uh, de decisions environmental problems international relations and ethics ma'am so your slides are not moving you are still at first slide yes sir so i am talking about okay. the last but one prisoner's dilemma i am just okay, explaining okay. Okay. The okay. dilemma arises because, from each individual individual's perspective, confessing appears to be the better choice. If the other subject remains silent, which means cooperative, and confesses ensures freedom or a reduced sentence. So, for this purpose, we are uh, using the prisoner dilemma. Coming to the Nash equilibrium, uh, the we have cooperative and non-cooperative. Uh, uh two criteria in game the games can be classified into cooperative and non cooperative categories in non cooperative games players make decisions independently and do not explicitly coordinate their actions in cooperative ga games players can form and make binding arguments agreements to work together so for this purpose we are using nash equilibrium so all those basics we have used in in, in this uh, study now coming to the decision making game theory model we have taken one model with the help of uh, nash equilibrium and prisoner dilemma in, in this session we present the discussion of the doctor patient game in the liver transplantation 
taking both the possibilities of deciding without observing other players so here players are doctors and patients so game theory basically based on play players and games so here doctors and patients are players behavior and it could be more practical possibility of sequentially now coming to the table 1 in our survey we have taken the outcome of the doctor and for the patient doctor cooperating and patient non cooperating so we have taken d stands for doctor and p stands for uh, patient so we have uh, taken the survey and with the help of the table 1 we have got the strategic form game that is doctor cooperative and non uh, patient non cooperation and doctor non cooperation patient cooperation so like this we doctor have Gita, Dr. Gita, yes. your table one is not visible. Your slide, you are still at the first slide. Are you moving your slide, or you are yes. presenting only one slide? Sir, now, now it is. Visible. Now it is moving. Yes. 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 So this is uh, table one. Coming to the table two, with the help of uh, table one, uh, uh, we have uh, taken the doctor and patient uh, players. cooperative and non cooperative games and uh, came to the uh, outcome of order variation as a function of mu mu stands for the patient and lambda stands for the uh, doctor so with this of uh, uh, table 1 table 2 3 and 4 we have calculated and coming to the modeling strategies prisoner dilemma nash equilibrium in this section we present the solution of the doctor patient game considering both the possibility of deciding without observing the other players behavior and it could be more realistic possibility of sequential so here we have the representing of game theory i have given one uh, 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 diagram here so he, in this diagram the game theory strategy profile after deciding the first in the interaction between the doctor and patient so doctor deciding do, doctor interacting patients was uh, one one criteria is cooperating with the doctor patient cooperating with the doctor another criteria is patient non cooperating with the doctor that is nc and uh, third case is doctor and patient both are non cooperating each other so with this uh, game we have taken some uh, uh, um, details survey and we have calculated and coming to the second uh, diagram game theory modeling strategies profile of patient deciding first interacting with the doctors between the doctor and the patient so patient uh, interacting with doctor patient cooperating but not, doctor not cooperating so what will happen so the group of uh, patients uh, we have uh, taken for a survey and uh, we have uh, Uh, uh taken for a survey and uh, bring it to the optimal solution here the uh, nash e equilibrium and prisoner dilemma playing vital role to get the uh, optimal solution nash situation in which each strategy is the best response to the strategies chosen by all the other players in this regard nash equilibrium is uh, 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 um, playing vital role then so coming to the uh, final survey of our uh, uh, study from this two strategies one is a uh, patient and one is doctor we can decide whether the patient can undergo undergo liver transplantation or not from the group of people and availability of the donor that is uh, important so coming to the the liver transplantation process is very complex the main problem involved in the imbalance between the scarce liver grafts available for a transplantation and the number of patients that are in in need of one together with the urgency of the intervention as there is no mechanical way to keep the patient alive while waiting for a donor this demand and supply imbalance requires that the patient considered eligible for liver transplantation or selected after passing a very strict series of requirements knowing this patients will try as odd as possible to be considered eligible when if that implies sometimes trying to deceive doctors so defining the payoffs or outcomes for both players is not easy because one is trying to quantify concepts in which emotions play a crucial role moreover the values for the benefit of harm or harm to the health of the patient are also difficult to measure precisely so now cooperation by both players um, here we are i'm talking about players 
uh, doctors and patient is best achieved when the patient plays before the doctor instead of the reverse order or of playing without full knowledge of the other players actions so when the doctor is the first to decide the game may please con- may please conclude now yeah uh, this is conclusion only sir so the game may sometimes not even be played the results obtained provide some relevant manage- manage- manageable insights so these are all the references so what we have used in this survey uh, thank you so much professor so any question from audience if there are no questions uh, let me ask one question since all yes, of us please. are mostly chemistry people but i have some exposure to all this thing ma'am have you taken uh, ethical guidance or ethical parameter into your study yes sir we have taken from sagar hospital bangalore and uh, we have uh, taken only for liver transplantation uh, uh, let me give you one more uh, this one uh, sir actually input we can take the can i mean uh, uh, um, um, kidney transplantation also in this study sir okay oh, thank you yes thank you sir next participant good evening uh, sir myself dr kritika may i present now yeah please proceed is the screen visible to still dr geeta slides are there not yours now your slide is visible yeah thank you sir good afternoon to uh, an adult present here my first dr geeta on so the picture from uh, uh, then so my paper is about the ethical analysis of single cell oil production from rice hull hydrolysis using fertilization method so uh, this is basically uh, uh, rice hull uh, using a fungus uh, based on c and ratio so here we are reducing the uh, and the nitrogen consumption and the uh, oil accumulation and the uh, biomass so this is about mathematical method um, is it it's just a summary that's about introduction based on a mathematical method we have proceed this so basically what is mathematical method it is from a real world problem we are exposing a mathematical problem so from that we are choosing the component either by a linear equation or non linear equation or statistical methods and then uh, trying to find out the solution based on the data and giving conclusion for the real world problem so this is how the mathematical model plays so here uh, we are applying a differential equation a non linear differential equation uh, you know, for this model which is a single cell oil production from a uh, rice hull hydrolysis so uh, this non linear differential equation generally we can solve the using many iteration methods uh, there are many methods like homotopy perturbation method analysis method domain decomposition method many methods are there to find the um, estimation of the kinetic parameters so here uh, i give you the basic concepts for uh, homotopy perturbation method so since this is about a uh, differential equation we have linear part and a non linear part so this is how we are going to solve those problems uh, 1 minus p linear value and the initial value plus p uh the, the differential equation minus f of r so what is this pp is nothing but embedding parameter and uh, d not as general differential operator this is a kind of a homotopy method so basically the advantage and uh, the limitations of uh, hpm is uh, <coughs> hpm has eliminated the limitations of traditional perturbation methods so here the small parameter assumption are restricted and the next advantage is p lies between that is embedded parameter lies between 0 and 1 which is very small and uh, also 
uh, it can provide analytical and approximate solution for a wide range of nonlinear problems. And even for few duration is enough to get a better approximation result. So this is the uh, nonlinear equation of biomass, lipid sugar and uh, nitrogen. So uh, X is nothing but biomass and S is sugar, which is a substrate. And L is uh, lipids, which is oil, what we are going to get. And uh, N is nitrogen. So basically the concept is to uh, reduce the uh, substrate and nitrogen and uh, to increase the product, the oil accumulation, to increase the oil accumulation. Uh, the concept is based on that. So there are many kinetic parameters used here, which is uh, specific accumulation rate and uh, an inhibition constant based on the Andrew uh, equation. So here, the nonlinear situation with uh, initial, four, uh, uh, initial conditions. And by using homotopy perturbation method, we solve this. And we got the solution. The first one is the concentration of biomass and uh, factory biomass and the concentration of oil and the concentration of sugar and the nitrogen. So what we are going to do from this solution is we are going to test the estimation of the kinetic parameters, such as uh, maximum specific accumulation rate, inhibition constant, saturation constant, based on that concentration, the respective concentration. So that we are going to uh, find through this solution. So here as a graph, uh, so it, it is compared with the experimental result, with the analytical result. So the concentration of sugar and the nitrogen, the substrate and the nitrogen, uh, which decreases, and the concentration of biomass and the oil increases. That's what we require. So this is about oil production from rice hull. So uh, here, uh, based on that uh, fungus, uh, on decomposition of uh, for uh, uh, days, like a 200 and beyond that, so it decomposed and uh, that we produce uh, nitrogen and sugar and also the oil. So the redu uh, how to reduce those uh, sugar and, and nitrogen is explained uh, using the graph. So when and, uh, the specific, uh, I'm sorry, when the specific growth rate on a sugar and a nitrogen decreases, the concentration of a sugar uh, increases, which means uh, it has to reduce. So when the specific uh, growth rate reduced, the concentration will increase. So it should be reduced. And the next one is yield, yield coefficient. So here, when the yield coefficient increases, the concentration will also increases. And for this saturation constant or inhibition constant, when these constants vary, we don't have any changes in the uh, concentration of a sugar. So this is how the concentration for the oil, um, the, which is means uh, uh, product, oil will also exist. So here, if you uh, if you can see this, this, this is nothing but oil. Oil is uh, the second one. This is oil. So here the oil production increases with decreasing the uh, sugar and the nitrogen. Also the biomass is also increased. So when the biomass and the uh, uh, oil production increases for time, like beyond 200 and so on, it be uh, it, it gets saturated. So it, it becomes a steady state level. And for the sugar and the nitrogen also, the substrate and the nitrogen also will get us to steady state. It will get saturated beyond the day, days of a 200. So uh, this is all about uh, my presentation, the approximate analytical solution of nonlinear differential equation derived using homotopy perturbation method. And the results are compared with the numerical solutions and the experimental uh, results. And the results demonstrate that uh, low sugar consumption and the uh, nitrogen production is based on the saturation constant and yield coefficients. So maintaining the lowest possible values of these terms will give the results for sugar, uh, least low sugar consumption and the nitrogen production. So these are all few references. Thank you.
Thank you, Dr. Kritika. Any question from participants? So if there is no question from participant, we can move to next presentation. Thank you, sir. Who is next participant? Usha Rani. Yes, ma'am. Can I present, sir? Yeah, please start. Good evening, Tonandar. I'm Aru Sharani from Indonesia College of Engineering. Uh, my proposal topic is mathematical modeling of an enzyme biased biosensor using Agbury Council method. So using Agbury Council method of enzymes with the amperometric electrode as the result is significant improvements the wide range of biosensor. The Agbari Konji method, which was the developed Agbari and the Konji, the mathematician, the Agbari Konji method is considered uh, the significant the progress in nonlinear sciences. Agbari Konji method, uh, the employee to apply the approximate analytical experience, the reaction diffusion equation is a bounded step. Our analytical result is compared with numerical uh, solution and the satisfactory agreement is also noted. Uh, the system of Agbari Konji method is very converging uh, quickly. The effect of various values of chemical parameter on uh, concentration and substrate have been computed, uh, shown in the graphically. This is the governing linear, nonlinear reaction diffusion equations. Uh, here, S of psi and P of psi is the dimensionized concentration of a uh, substrate and a product. Uh, psi S squared and psi P squared, the reaction diffusion uh, parameters of the modules, and psi is the dimensionless distance and alpha b with the saturation and the inhibition parameters uh, condition as uh, as uh, 3 and 4 and the remnant current as also is in the equation 5 so agbari konji method the solution of agbari konji method uh, of the equation s of x is equal to s of 0 cos inter cos hernos of 1 by s not into x so we have obtained S not using uh, Taylor series uh, solution uh, because uh, uh, S not uh, we are using Taylor series solution uh, that will get the uh, accurate uh, uh, accurate analytical result. So using the boundary condition using Taylor series. So next uh, product concentration of products is P of X. Uh, this is a relation between uh, uh, concentration and the product. This is as in the equation 7. And also current uh, psi is equal to as in the equation H. Here the normalized this, uh, distance psi increases, the concentration of uh, S of uh, psi is also increases. And also in the figure uh, B, the normalized distance I increases, so the concentration of uh, it also increases and uh, increasing the value of alpha, alpha and uh, decreasing the value of uh, psi s squared. This is a concentration of product and the P of psi. The normalized distance uh, increases, the concentration of Product is also increases and also pi p squared also increases in the figure A. The normalized resistance psi increases, the concentration of uh, product P of X is also uh, increases in this uh, figure B and alpha is also decreases. Current, current solution compared to the numerical research. The saturation parameter alpha is increases, the normalized current is also increases. Uh, for the increasing value of uh, pi p squared. The saturation parameter beta increases in uh, figure B. 
the normalized current also increases and pi p squared is also increases. The conclusion of my research, uh, the mathematical model of an abramatic uh, uh, sensor is uh, presented. The sensing elements of surface uh, uh, disposed polymer film is make a, a contact with a, a substrate via michael mentang reaction kinetics. Analytical equation of concentration of uh, 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 sub concentration of steady state uh, solution is also present in Agbari Gonji method. Uh, the <coughs> contrast of other analytical method of uh, approaches is uh, uh, this method is very easy to uh, solve and uh, reliable solution. These techniques can uh, quickly resolve the nonlinear boundary values in the physical and chemical sciences. These are the my references. Thank you. Any queries? Thank you, Dr. Visha. Yes, sir. So is there any question from audience? Participant, if you have any query. Sir? Yes? Uh, sir, I have a question. Yeah, please ask. Uh, madam? Uh, yes, I have a question. Like, uh, you are comparing the result. Uh, but numerical solution. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The current result with the, the numerical one. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma on which basis you compare this? Uh, with the finite uh, different solution, ma'am. MATLAB. Okay. So, how uh, how about the accuracy of this, ma'am? May I know that? Um, this is also MATLAB uh, coding, ma'am. I I have MATLAB coding also, ma'am. Okay. So it's compared with the numerical. Yes, 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 ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Ma okay. So uh, now we should move to next presentation. Can I start, I sir? Think... Yeah, yes. yeah. Next, Dr. Usha Rani, it is Kumar Gaurav. Yes, ma'am. I am. Yes, Gaurav, please uh, present yes, your work. Sir, we are already running late. We request Sir, you just to a minute, ma'am, because there are some technical issues, so I can speak on that topic, ma'am. Which topic? In the production of the biodiesel using the ultrasonication, ultrasonication process and using the heterogeneous. So, you abstract, abstract yes. application seat to submit here, huh? Sir, that is the production of the biodiesel using the ultrasound method and using the heterogeneous catalyst that is the calcium oxide. Okay. So present on that topic. This time using the mobile and there is some problem in that one. Okay, then uh, Next participant, please uh, proceed with your yes. presentation. Dr. Oh, Gaurav, you will get presentation. You will get it in the last minute. Next participant, Ajay, please. OV18 Mohammed Akbar Dal. Dr. Akbar, you are here. 
डॉक्टर अकबर आर यू देयर डॉक्टर और मुरली कृष्णा ओवी नाइनटीन डॉक्टर कुमार द्वारा प्लीज मी म्यूट योर सेल्फ फर्स्ट ओके मैम वी रिक्वेस्ट डॉक्टर मुरली आर यू देयर ओवी सेवेंटीन कुड नॉट प्रेजेंट ओवी एटीन मोहम्मद अकबर ओवी नाइनटीन मुरली कृष्णा इज हेयर ओवी ट्वेंटी रिचा श्रीवास्तव आई थिंक वो भी नहीं है कोई भी ना सर ओके देन पल्लवी जैन इज हेयर नो आई थिंक इन पार्टिसिपेंट पल्लवी भी नहीं पल्लवी भी नहीं है प्रसन्नता कुमार साहू प्रसन्नता कुमार साहू इज ऑल्सो नॉट देयर नीना खन्ना नीना खन्ना इज हेयर आई डोंट थिंक सो राजेश त्रेहन एंड ट्विंकल राजेश त्रेहन तो नहीं है ट्विंकल है आई थिंक गुड इवनिंग मैम मैम ट्विंकल दिस साइड ओके ओके ट्विंकल यू वुड बी प्रेजेंटिंग योर ओबी 25 मैम ओबी 24 ओके या ओबी 24 राइट ओके मैम शेल आई स्टार्ट या प्लीज ट्विंकल प्लीज स्टार्ट so you can make a note that ob 17 18 19 20 21 till 23 have not presented as yet from okay. 7 till 23 17 till 23 they have not presented we are now moving on to 24 after 16 okay twinkle please okay. start sure sir audible yes sir you are audible please be ready with the next uh, good morning uh, good evening dr sami am i audible yes sir you are audible you can i am dr prasant kumar sahu uh, from the beginning i am since 350 okay i am responding you okay sir so you want to uh, present now yes sir yeah please present ट्विंकल प्लीज वेट सर को सर को प्रेजेंट करने दो सर प्लीज आप प्रेजेंट करिए सर 22 प्लीज मेक अ नोट आई एम 22 डॉक्टर प्रसाद कुमार साहब प्लीज 22 देन वी कैन हैव 24 ट्विंकल आफ्टर दैट हां गुड इवनिंग एवरीवन आई एम डॉक्टर प्रसाद कुमार साहब एसोसिएट प्रोफेसर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ केमिस्ट्री शिवाजी कॉलेज यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ दिल्ली द टाइटल ऑफ माय प्रेजेंटेशन इज न्योडियम आयन सिलेक्टिव इलेक्ट्रोड using 110 diazo 47 dioxo 38 dibenzyl cyclotetra decat 292 diene ion four so to begin with i must introduce uh, what is an ion selective electrode so an ion selective electrode also known as specific ion electrode it converts the activity that is effective concentration on the head of electrode of a specific ion dissolved in a solution into electrical potential the term concentration should be replaced by activity or effective concentration activity is an important factor in ion selective electrode measurements so general a membrane electrode where a special glass is used comprising of 22% sodium oxide 6% calcium oxide 72% silicon dioxide so which is reverse go hydronium ion partially populated both the inner and outer silicon dioxide surface and the potential is due to the concentration difference results in a potential across the glass membrane so a typical example of uh, valinum acid anode for electrode so next 
The main areas in which ion selective electrodes are used is in pollution man monitoring, agriculture, food processing, detergent manufacture, paper and manufacture, explosives, and electroplating, biomedical laboratories, education, and research. The, the advantages of ion selective electrodes are relatively inexpensive in comparison to other analytical techniques. They have an extremely wide range of application and wide concentration range. They are particularly useful in biological medical applications because they measure the activity of the ion directly rather than the concentration. Ion selective electrodes are one of the few techniques which can measure both positive and negative ions. They are unaffected by sample color or turbidity. Ion selective electrodes can be used in aqueous solution over a wide temperature range. The main the need of neodymium ion selective electrode. The amount of neodymium present in human system is quite small, and although the metal has no biological role, it can affect the parts of the system. Neodymium dust and salts are irritating to eyes and are considered as a threat to the liver when it accumulates in the human body. Neodymium is used in the formation of permanent magnets that is used in microphones, professional loudspeaker, headphones, and computer hard disks. It is used for coloring glass to make welders and glass floor levels. It enters in an environment by dumping waste in petroleum industries, by thrown away household equipments and gradually accumulates in soil and water, and eventually leads to increasing concentration in human beings and animals. Hence, monitoring of neodymium is the subject of interest in the last decade overcome by developing neodymium ion selective electrode. The preparation of electrode. So, a known amount of the ionophore, a substance which is able to transport particular ion dissolve into a minimum known quantity of tetrahydrofuran. PVC was also used in THF. So the use of particular plasticizer, a typical solvent added to synthetic resin to promote or produce plasticity and flexibility to reduce brittleness was in PVC containing iron for to improve the working concentration range, slope and response time. After thoroughly stirring, the mixture was poured gradually in a glass casting ring, uh, resting on a plate and left as such for a sufficient time to allow the THF to evaporate. After complete evaporation of the solvent, the membrane was cut away from the inner edge of the ring, which looked like a fine plastic sheet. It is used in ion selective electrode for analyzing its maximum selectivity behavior towards one or more small set of metal ions. The examination of membrane for its selectivity the composition requires optimization of membrane, ingredients, ionophore, plasticizers, uh, <coughs> PVC, and ion excluder. A particular composition of membrane, membrane ingredients provides best potential response in the examination of water. So, <coughs> the response time, lifetime selectivity, and chemical stability depends on the nature and amount of plasticizer as well as the ionophore. In general, the thickness of the membrane depends on the membrane content of PVC and there is a good correlation between the membrane thickness and the PVC content of the metal. The detection limit of the sensor increases with a decrease in the PVC content. If the PVC content in membrane is too short, it loses its mechanical strength and it is easily broken. So, it will go for the comparison and response characteristic of neodymium 3 selective PVC based membrane having ionophore as electroactive material. So, in this, uh, the second one, so we have taken 3% of the ionophore and 2.5% of your cation excluder, that is your sodium tetraphenyl borate, and 62.5% of plasticizer. Two nitrophenyl octyl ether and 32% PVC, in which the uh, slope is also best suited, the response time is also 10 seconds, and the working range is also much better. And 
and uh, so <coughs> next the last equation for this is e is equal to inner a uh, inner e <coughs> and the so from this the slope is this slope is direction of curve where plotting e versus c the detection limit the upper detection limit is a consequence of co-extraction process of primary ion interfering counter ion from the sample into an ion selective membrane thereby leading to a loss of membrane selectivity as a result increase of primary ion concentration in the sample needs to be less than nursing slope response. So the lower detection limit appears as the apparent loss of nursing response slope at low primary ion activity. The <coughs> no ion selective electrodes could be designed exclusively sir, to a particular sir, sir, though there is no response to the, uh, to the primary then other ion. Thus to assess the performance of an electrode in presence of other ions the term selectivity coefficient has been introduced. It shows the ability of the sensor for the preferential uptake of the determinant ion, that is primary ion, in the presence of other interfering ions. The extent of selectivity of the electrode towards the primary ion A with respect to interfering ion B is given by the potentiometric selectivity coefficient. It is defined by the gen equals C equals, uh, equation. Where Z and Z B denote the charge of the ions A or A and B, E not gives the standard potential value of the electrode. This equation is applicable to nearly all the electrodes. So, sir. Ah, yes, sir. Sir, please conclude. Kar dijiye. Ah, yeah, this is what uh, I have concluded that the selective coefficient, uh, uh, as uh, through mass potential. Method was found to be this. So, thank you, everyone. Thank you, sir. So, I think we should proceed for uh, next presentation. Twinkle, are you there? Yes, sir. So, shall yeah, I start? Please. Yeah, yeah, please, Twinkle, start your presentation. Good evening, everyone. I am uh, Twinkle Ratti. Uh, excuse yes, me, sir. Uh, sorry, just to interrupt. Sir, my presentation was before this. Uh, so, should I wait for this? Mine is OV17, sir. Ma'am, we okay. already called up your name so many times. Since you did not respond, so we moved further. I think you can wait for your turn after Twinkle. Okay, it after, is after Twinkle. Okay, ma'am. After I... Twinkle, I'll wait. Uh, sorry to interrupt. Twinkle, please continue. Yes, good, good evening, everyone. I am Twinkle Ratti, Assistant Professor in Government College, Nahan. My topic of presentation is review paper on influence of human activities on atmospheric chemistry. Atmospheric chemistry has changed dramatically as a result of human activities. Air pollution, smog, acid rain are some interconnected problems uh, brought on by human activities. Air pollution consists of particles or chemicals in the atmosphere that possess serious health and environment threat. List of some air pollutants are carbon monoxide and these. We can see that many of these pollutants have oxide. This oxide is a result of combustion, mainly coming from transportation and power plants. When we burn fossil fuels, they release greenhouse gases into the air. These gases trap heat from the sun which lead to increasing temperature. Then this creates a cycle where air pollution contributes to the climate change and climate change increases temperature, which again intensifies some type of air pollution. In this slide, we can see the radioactive forcing by different air pollutants. This shows the energy imbalance imposed by the climate system. Like the pollutant latent main gases are NO2, tropospheric ozone and aerosols, which have high warming effects. Let us discuss pollutants starting with SOX and NOX, sulf uh, sulfur oxides and nitrogen oxides. For nitrogen oxides, the big emitters are cars and power plants. 
and four sulfur oxides comes entirely from coal uh, coal fuel fired power plants and some industrial processes both are highly reactive and poisonous when these sulfur oxides and nitrogen oxides in the air react to form sulfur acid and nitric acid and falls on the ground with rain it's an acid rain it can burn structures that we have built like taj mahal and of course it is dangerous to human and other organisms next is ozone chlorine from uh, chlorine from cfc's pops off the carbon chain and tears in oxygen from the ozone molecule this is ozone depletion and leads to ozone hole fortunately humans have uh, humans got their act together and banned cfc's under the montreal protocol in 1987 now we can see that the ozone hole depletion is decreasing very fast and by the year 2016 it will become to the normal level now ozone up high is good but it is bad nearby so ground level ozone is a human made secondary air pollutant it is human made as human made as it wouldn't exist without human and it is scary because it's not produced but it is that it is a end result of the series of chemical reactions vocs volatile organic compounds and the nox nitrogen oxides from the vehicle emission they react together in the presence of sunlight to make tropospheric ozone which when mixed with the other pollutants forms photochemical smog next in the list is particulate matter these are the solid particles in the atmosphere which could be dust smoke smoke particles in general smaller the particulate matter size the more dangerous it is to us covid now let us take an example of the particulate matter in the air covid had drastic impact on amount of particulate matter in the air we can take example of india you can see that in 2017 18 19 there are heavy layers of particulate matter in the air but in 2020 during covid lockdown due to less vehicle traffic and different demands of the power grid the, there is a big drop in the particulate matter but we can reduce this now we can see that uh, the growth of asian emissions is increasing as compared to the western countries which is uh, not if not decreasing then it is stable but we can reduce these emissions then the present forecast if push is made for energy efficiency and air quality in developing world so to wrap up the stratospheric ozone uh, layer is recovering thanks to the montreal protocol when the catalytic converters are used to reduce nox pollution nitrogen oxide pollution from the cars and smoke stack scrubbers and other cleaning technology are used mostly in the western countries to reduce sulfur oxide emissions from the power plants these issues issues have not been completely solved but with the continued continued strengthening of regulations and reduction in fossil fuels we can hopefully won't we can hopefully won't be dealing with the air pollution anymore in the future thank you thank you twinkle so i will request next participant because we are already running late uh, dr rita are you there yes sir yes sir yeah, i'm i'm sharing please, my please screen please start okay. yes sir first of all extremely sorry sir i think due to connectivity issue for the 5 minutes i was uh, not connected to the zoom meeting and uh, in that time only i got uh, i got a call from okay, your okay. side i guess no problem you just start your presentation yes now. sir uh, can you see my presentation sir yes ma'am okay but it's not there why it's not coming on my screen yes sir Uh, good evening everyone i am dr richa working as assistant professor in the department of applied chemistry uh, dtu i would like to thank organizers for giving me this opportunity to present my work the topic of my work is estimation of tramadol a synthetic psychoactive substance in medicinal formulations it's op20 health is a uh, state of total well being physical mental and social all together helping us both survive and thrive in our daily lives the inborn desire in human to get away from the hard realities of life occasionally drives them to resort to the abuse of psychoactive drug that brings about profound pleasurable change in the personality a psychoactive drug 
it's also known as psychotropic substance that acts primarily on the central nervous system and thus affects function of brain. They are also uh, termed as mind altering substances. They can bring about changes which are pleasant to users. Thus, they force the users to take it regularly and use of these substances easily goes unnoticed, uh, leading to the significant change in the perception of user and slowly and slowly user becomes psychologically dependent on these drugs. Uh, and it becomes habitual. Uh, he becomes habitual. On the basis of origin, they can be classified into natural, synthetic or semi-synthetic. And on the basis of their effect, they can be classified into stimulants, hallucinogens and depressants. These drugs are beneficial to the man mankind, but as per the usual human nature, they are equally misused for short-term benefits. So due to the fact of this misuse or abuse of these substances, they are kept under control by United Nations Drug Control Program, UNDCP. According to uh, the report published by World Drug Report in 2018, the number of new psychoactive substances reported annually has increased from 130 in 2009 to 503 in 2015 and 479 in 2016. As we can see there, each year some old substances disappear and some new are added. So according to Ministry of Social Justice and Empowerment, Government of India, magnitude of substance use uh, report alcohol, cannabis and opioids are the most misused substances. Alcohol, opioids and cannab cannabinoids are the most misused substances. Now, India has a vast heritage of traditional medicinal system for various ailments. Some of these medicinal formulations contains uh, psychoactive substances just may opium marijuana marijuana cannabis etc they are mixed in various proportions ayurvedic uh, uh, medicines may unani formulations may they are widely used sometimes these formulations are misused by people so in recent times an alarming and unprecedented increase has been observed in new type of psychoactive substance and also existing drugs so the situation presents a challenge not only for the law enforcement enforcement staff but also to the technical and scientific staff of forensic labs to quantify the, their presence in the materials obtained hence either use either for use or abuse their analysis and quantification always has a role to play so the present work basically deals with the isolation purification and characterization of uh, synthetic psychotropic drug that is tramadol in medicinal formulation and its estimation by validated HPTLC technique. Uh, tramadol is a 4-phenyl piperidine analog of codeine that is an opioid drug. Its IUPAC name is 2-dimethyl aminomethyl 1,3-methoxyphenyl cyclohexanol. It is closely related to the chemical structure of all dual nature uh, action, uh, antidepressants. So this drug has been considered as safe in comparison to other opioid drug categories. So the objective of present work is to develop a rapid and effective screening analysis for detection of tramadol in selected medicinal formulations. Analytical tool used for quantification was HPTLC. So the widely HPLC is used, but in this technique, HPTLC is used due to certain different reasons. Uh, the tramadol hydrochloride purchased uh, was from uh, Zydus Cadilla as an adamant tablet and they were used for isolating tramadol. HPTLC is a powerful analytical method that is equally suitable for both qualitative and quantitative investigation tasks. So advantages include visual chromatogram, simple sample preparation, multiple sample handling leading to faster and economic analysis, enables the complicated separation of samples of divergent nature, no contamination or interference from previous analysis, detection limit in nanogram range, and low maintenance cost. Dr. So, Richard, please conclude. Okay, sir. I'll just uh, come to this. This is general extraction procedure followed. These are the results followed uh, that extracted tramadol, uh, NMR, IR, and mass was taken. And uh, uh, then chromatographic conditions were preparation of mobile phase, sample application, how sample application was done, and selection of analytical uh, wavelength was carried out, how method valid validation was done, linearity and correlation was established, S selected system was found to give compact staff, uh, spots with RF value of 0.875, and then this peak area gives the concentration of the drug obtained. This was the calibration curve of the tramadol, and uh, in conclusion, application of this HPTLC demonstrometry method was used for analysis of pharmaceutical as a major step towards quality assurance. And in this work, a simple, precise, rapid and reproducible HPTLC method was developed for uh, its estimation. And extremely large number of samples can be analyzed at the same time with 
this work here economical use of time and space is required this uh, method can be widely used so these are some of the references that i follow and this uh, thank you so any questions from the participants so if there is no question uh, jay Okay, so first of all, I am thankful to the organizing committee to give me a presentation to present my I am Dr. Kumar Gaurav, and I am presenting that my work that is the ultrasound that is the transportation process for the biodiversity production. And in that, we are using the heterogeneous category that is the calcium oxide. So biodiesel, we can use this one as an alternative fuel. So we can use this as a fuel for the alternative diesel fuel. This is the non-toxic, non metal fuel. And the comparable thing as compared to the other type of the fossil fuel. And the production of the biodiesel, we can use the chemical fossil that is called process fertilization fossil. So in that one, there are the different type of the feed stock like the vegetable oil, soya bean oil, but that are the fossil material for the production of the biodiesel. So in place of that, we can use the non edible oil, that is the Jupiter oil for the production of the biodiesel, and the seeds can be also used that waste to animal fat, waste chicken fat, like that. So in that one, next. So transportation process in that one, what we do is we use the viscosity and increase the frequency of oil. So for that one, we use the thymol of the methanol and use the catalyst, the different type of the catalyst, like catalyst, enzyme catalyst, but it's getting more four thousand times faster as compared to the other type of the transportation. Which again, we go to the next So In this alkyl catalyzed transportation, but which again, you go to the next slide, Dr. Richard. Can you so if you see the process is reaction is carried out the 60 degree temperature and the pressure is the 60 atmospheric pressure. So the reaction is completed for body function is taken out to 90. So in place of that, we use another technique that is called ultrasound transmission process. In that we save the energy, we save the time, all the things. Go to the next slide, Dr. So the advantage of the Ultrasonification. So, in that much, there is a much more heat transfer as compared to the conventional process. Next, Dr. Richard. Next, next, next. Okay. So, in this one, we can use the alkali acid and the enzyme catalyst process. So, generally, we prefer the alkali catalyst transportation process. And in, in that one, there are the two types of the catalyst homogeneous catalyst and heterogeneous based catalyst. Next, Dr. Richard. So generally, we use the heterogeneous catalyst because there's a lot of the problem in using homogeneous catalyst like the NRHKOs. But in case of that, we use the other type of the catalyst like the heterogeneous based catalyst like the calcium oxide, the magnesium oxide, the oxide, the titanium oxide. So this heterogeneous based catalyst that is the most advantageous as compared to the other type of the transportation. Probably, so can you come to the directly on the? Okay, thank you. One so for that, first of all, we the uh, acid value of the jupiter oil that is very high. So for that, we go the acid catalyzed transportation process. So in that one, we use the catalyst and we use the toluene sulfonic acid to can reduce the acid value. After that one, we prepare the calcium oxide nano catalyst, and in that one, we have. So for that, we have characterized the, the physiochemical property of nanocatalysts like the FTA, EGA, XRD, same analysis. 
like in that one, then the average fiscal size of that one, that is around uh, 43 nanometers. And in fact, we have optimized concentration of the catalyst protein, that is the optimum concentration of the 5%. Our treatments we optimized the methanol to oil ratio. The optimal concentration was the, around the next. We will get the that we get to the Our treatments, what is the physical property of those biodiesel density? That was 0 0.8. Can we compare biodiesel with the SPM diesel? 0 0.8 the and the heating value. It is certainly similar to the so the conclusion of my work the ultrasound from the process reduce the chemical reaction time it reduces the biodiesel and it will improve the separation process and the visual capital parameter of the concentration of methanol to violation that is the 9.1 and the catalyst was that is around five percent and we get the biodiesel catalyst thank you thank you dr Thank you, Dr. Kumar. So, is there any question from the participants? I think there is no more participant to present now. Jaya, is there anyone left? Sir, OV25 registered over Sumati and Vishali Safde. Did not follow the name. They are here. They are, I think uh, Dr. Rajni is absent now. Sir, Dr. Anhar, Dr. Akbar is here. He has started presenting. Okay, okay, okay. I think he, this is the last, he's the last one. Uh, in the end, we can call upon again so that we do not miss anyone after Dr. Akbar. Okay, okay. Dr. Akbar, please proceed. My audible to Doctor Akbar, please proceed. Doctor Akbar, are you there? Yes, sir, I'm here. Please proceed. Dr. Akbar, you are not audible. Dr. Akbar, you are not audible. Jaya, I think there is a problem with internet. I will call you in one second. Sir, Sir, uh, it is on you as you decide because you are the chairperson. So, as you take the decision, because we've already called him so many times and we've given him time also. He knew okay, that. Okay, then. Okay, then I think uh, he will not be able to present because of you know internet issue. I think he is in JNK, Jammu and Kashmir, me, na? Wo. Acha, I don't know, sir. I I also don't know, but name suggests Doctor Akbar Dar. Yeah, so yeah. Most probably he will be in Kashmir and there is a problem for yeah. internet connection and all that. So we can close this session because we are already getting late. And so we, uh, uh, tick on the uh, number of participants that we have attended to. I think OV13 Ashish has presented, OV14 Geeta, OV15 uh, Kritika, 
OB16 Usha Rani, OB17 Gaurav, OB20 Richa, OB22 Dr. Prasanna, and OB24 Twinkle. Yes. Anyone else that we have missed or I have missed? We do not have presentation OB18, 19, 21, 20, uh, no, sorry, 23, and 25. Total eight presentations हुई हैं मेरे पास record में जिसने present किया है. Yes sir, eight हैं और five absent हैं. हाँ ठीक है. So we are total thirteen. Okay. So thank you very much all the participants for attending this session. I thanks Jaya also for organizing this, and I will share the evaluation of all the presentation with Jaya. And that will be finally submitted to the organizing committee of conference. Okay. Uh, yes, sir. Thank you so much for sparing up uh, your precious time with us. We are really grateful at Dave Bandhu College and also grateful to our participants for being very patient. Thank you so much, sir. And thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, ma'am. We can leave, ma'am, right? Yes, yes, you all can leave. Shiv, you be here. Thank you so much, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. I'm here. Uh, Shiv, after everybody has left, stop the recording and share it with the... Uh, share it on the group or we can share later on. Oh, ma'am. If we can leave the or stop the recording. You just wait. I'll call someone. Wait, wait, sir. I'll call a, a person. The concerned person. Then you can stop the recording. रिकॉर्डिंग स्टॉप करो और रुके रहो अभी बाद में हम करेंगे लीव रूम पहले रिकॉर्डिंग खत्म हो जाएगी फिर करेंगे ठीक है सर ओके मैम ओके शिव रिकॉर्डिंग स्टॉप करो